Hey everyone, John Sanmez from SimpleProgrammer.com and today I want to talk to you about a subject that is not quite so pleasant. In fact, it's really unpleasant, but it's something that we should talk about because it happens to all of us, which I'll call this getting punched in the stomach. And what I mean by this is when you have this unexpected blow that happens to you that really catches you off guard and hurts quite a bit. And I think everyone has experienced this at some point in time and it doesn't matter really who you are, it doesn't matter how successful you are or what you're doing, eventually there's going to be this hit that comes out of nowhere that's going to catch you off guard and it's going to hurt. And how we react to this when this happens is critical to our success or failure in a lot of different circumstances. So, I, in fact, this week was a pretty bad week for me as far as getting punches in the stomach. I got quite a few of them. I started off this week with my laptop breaking, my brand new laptop that uh, an employee of mine was using to, to do some work for me. And so I was stuck in this bad situation, found out that I had to wait over a week in order to get the laptop repaired, couldn't get a replacement. So just without a laptop for, for at least a couple of weeks, it looks like. So uh, that happens right at the beginning of the week. I find out one of my Pluralsight courses that I've been working really hard on it didn't quite see eye to eye with, uh, with how it was supposed to come about and so it's basically not going to get published or got rejected. It happens sometimes but that's a pretty, pretty painful blow because I put my heart into these courses and I put a lot of work into this. So, uh, so yeah, that, that was not a lot of fun and then had my air conditioner go out in the middle of the night, had to wait for a repair guy to come and, and repair that and I don't know how much that will cost. But th those are just some examples of, you know, that's a pretty rough week. Obviously all my weeks aren't like that, but it really made me think about this topic of what do you do when this happens? Because this happens to all of us. So I, and that's the first thing to understand is that it's going to happen. You got to be prepared that this is going to happen. And the question is, when it happens, how do you deal with this? Now, our natural inclination, at least I know my natural inclination, is to basically throw my hands up in the air and say, you know what, I don't have time for this. Who's got time for this? I, I, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. I, I'm giving up or I'm turning the other direction. I'm not going to fight this battle. And, uh, and because we don't want to subject ourselves to more pain and more problems and a lot of times our ego is hurt or we just, we lose our motivation. You know, it's like someone pulls the rug out from underneath you and then you, you, you're falling, you land on your butt, you think, well, what should I do now? I, I, you know, I, I lost that wind that was in my sails. But what's critical to do in this case is to, when this happens, when you get that punch in the stomach is to acknowledge it, feel the pain, feel the, the hurt because it's, you can't ignore it and pretend like, like it wasn't uh, something that caused you pain or, or, or set you back. You have to acknowledge it. But once you've acknowledged it, it's really important to very quickly get back on the horse. What I mean by that is don't let this take you down. You know, the, the thing that separates someone from winning and losing is how many times they get back up. If you get knocked down six times, get back up seven. The key thing is that you get back up. And if you do, the faster you do that, the more likely you're, you are to have success. The problem is when we let these things stop us dead because we lose our motivation. And a lot of times in order to get back up, you gotta, you gotta do it without that motivation. You gotta find a way to say, look, I don't feel like this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna push. And I know that I'll, I'll find my wind again. And having that kind of a spirit is going to make it so that you're undefeatable, that when these setbacks come, that you're gonna take them in stride and you're gonna go forward. Now, it's not, it's not obviously the easiest thing to do. It's easier said than done. I know after this week, I was, I was ready to throw in the towel and say, hey, uh, uh, maybe, you know, maybe this, maybe I should just relax. Maybe I should just quit all this and, you know, and, and, and not, not worry about it anymore and not, not try so hard. But, uh, but that's not the right thing to do. It's, it's easy to be susceptible to that. So my advice is when you get punched in the stomach and it's going to happen to you, you acknowledge it. You say, okay, that hurt, 
but you move on, you get back on the horse, and you push on. It doesn't mean that you're always going to keep on going in a direction that when you hit walls sometimes that you're not going to stop. It just means that getting punched in the stomach is not going to be the thing that decides how you are going to live your life. You're not going to make big decisions based on getting one low blow or one hit. What you're going to do is you're going to take that in stride, you're going to get back on the horse, and you're going to make your decisions logically in your mind, set your goals, achieve them, not let a, a hit or one-time disturbance really control your life. So that's my advice for this week, and uh, thanks for, for watching the videos. And uh, don't forget to check out my blog at simpleprogrammer.com or the new podcast I've been doing with Iris Klasson at getupandco.com. And of course, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel if, uh, if you like to continue watching these videos. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you again next week.